Good evening, teachers. Good um, good evening, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to share to you my design template in Microsoft Excel, which is the grade point average. So every in every grading period, we are required to submit the grade point average this template. So uh, to simplify my job in counting the range of grade from 70 to 74, 75 to 79, and so on. So to simplify my job in tallying the grades that belongs to that range, so that's why I come up to design a template, an automated template in Microsoft Excel that automatically counts the range of grade of every student so to which the grade belongs to the range of grade of the students okay so this time i'm going to explain to you or to share to you how this automated template in creating gpa works so i have six sections here so this time uh, you can just uh, go to your grade or look for your grade browse you can just copy and paste so you make sure that this belongs to the, sa the same section you're going to paste to a particular column in your GPA template so you highlight your grade then right click to the highlighted portion and then you copy so that's for the mail go back to your GPA template here you look for Hertz mail this one here number one you just simply paste or right click and paste the grade of the students here or you can use the values paste so paste the values so this time it automatically counts the the male uh, students these are 14 so automatic here the total number of male is 14 in section and 10 hertz so here in your template here in your gpa you can see it automatically automatically displays the male 14 so this time zero and female and the total is 14 then automatically counts the range of grade so for instance here 70 74 zero there are no actually entries for 70 to 74 range of grade here in your entry then 75 to 79 uh, 0 80, 80 to 84 0 here you can see there are four uh, grades that belongs to the range 85 to 89 so to check here they are for instance uh, here 1 2 3 4 see it's uh, there are actually four grades that belongs to 85 to 89 so with that range so here for female zero because there are no entries for female yet 90 to 94 there are actually seven so here if you count the grades here and you tally it actually uh, coincide to seven uh, grades that belongs to 90 to 94 so 95 to 100 there are actually three and it automatically totals three okay so that belongs to hertz this time 
for the male you just go back to your grade here and you scroll down you just simply highlight the grades of your students right click at the highlighted portion click copy and then go back to your template so here and you can paste it on the female column here on section 10 hertz right click and paste the value so that uh, the fill color will not be removed or changed paste okay so these are the grades of female students there are actually when you highlight you can see at the bottom of microsoft excel this one count there are actually 20 students here and automatically i have already entered formula here to count the number of students number of students per section or in the female column so check going back to our gpa here you can see female is 20 and it actually totals that 14 plus 20 is equal to 34 so automatic so automated that that's why it is called automated template because it actually simplifies our job in counting the grades especially if you have uh, several students in in a section so it actually takes time for you to count the range of grade by using the manual system which is the tally tally one okay next so just simply check here it actually enters the range of grade the correct counting here so next for the next section here for ruin gin you just simply do the same you just open another excel file here and then you paste it here uh, for example see let's let's open another file uh, like for instance if, if you just copy and paste the same uh, let us assume that is uh, this is already in section row and gen is luck for example you copy this one na assuming this is the section row and gene copy and then go back to your template and then you paste it on the uh, another section which is the row and gene here paste only the values and then going back to your other section for example, these are the females for the section row engine, copy, then this is just an example because I am using only one section and paste only the values. So, the same entries but it actually for row engine, it actually enters here from this uh, row. So, the entries is coming actually from this column from the row engine column here so next rotor forward here so result here and so on so for example if you have since this is template you can change you can change only the section here uh, Here, you can change it to, for example, this is enter. Automatic, automatically, it changes the section here. So, if it's small letter, you can actually change that one. Delete, erase this character to the right. That's Jigo Silang here. So, automatic, it will change to Jigo Silang. This one, if you're going to change this one to other section here you can change this one to uh, another section which is
Uh, for instance, let us say this is hertz. Enter. Automatic on the second row here, it changes to uh, hertz to section. So, if you change this one here, change this one, automatic it changes here. See? Change the section here. Uh, grade 8, for example. Grade 8, uh, for example. Here, change the section, enter, automatic, it will change on, on the next, on the next row, or row here. So, entries, your entries here, will be recorded at this third row here. Okay, so... That's that is all about uh, this automated uh, grade point average that simplifies our job in counting and tallying the range of grade of the students. So we are going to prepare this one in every end of the quarter. So thank you for watching.